All right. Is ChatGPT Mini better than ChatGPT 4.0? Today I did a bit of research and uh, I was kind of surprised because I just finished testing this stuff. So I'm going to give you the video here unfiltered, raw. We're going to go through it. I did the round of like 12 questions from simple to more complex. And you'll be surprised by, by what I got from this because this model is insanely cheap. It's better than what uh, Anthropic made with, with Claude, uh, with, with Haiku. It's better than uh, than what Google did with the Gemini Flash. And the performance, you know, compared to the best on the market, which is like ChatGPT 4.0. Well, let, let's go into it. I'm gonna, you're gonna see what I mean with this, right? So we have here, I compare them side by side. So what I did here was basically, um, give me just a second. All right. So I kind of compared them um, by using this um, system here. So I'm basically asking all the LLMs to give prompts for me to test, you know, different models. I got here all different variations from all the different models. So if I go back now and we compare them, right, side by side, you should see what I see, right? So let's go through it. Now, the first question, I try to be really simple, short prompt, right? So how would you design a system to reduce traffic congestion in a large traffic uh, city? This is again to test a bit the logic. How would it react? First thing that you're noticing here, all right, at least that I noticed that the answers between them are really similar, extremely similar. So like, you know, smart traffic management, intelligent traffic management. All right. Infrastructure development. Um, I'm trying to find a way to where to put my chat bubble here, whatever, but all right, fine. So you see here it goes through bullet points. Now, why is this important to start with? Because with a model that's supposed to be so much cheaper and, you know, they call it mini, you would expect like lower performance. For example, with Haiku, there is lower performance. With all the other models, you do notice, uh, you know, like it's less smart. Not this one really solid again the answers you get from chat gpt 4.0 are kind of the same answers you get from the mini version which is very interesting now second question then step-by-step -step guide on how to perform an seo audit right getting a bit more technical prompt is still short but more technical also here to be honest like you see here very solid information here i think chat gpt 4.0 has the slight edge because it gives just a bit more information. But um, as I was saying, the one that you're seeing with Mini is still like not a bad result. It's not like it's going all over the place or saying inaccurate information. And it's long too, like it's, it's quite a beefy answer. I think this one just gave a bit of extra information somewhere at one point I noticed this. Um, but yeah, also here, answers very similar, regular. Oh, this, just the formatting sometimes varies just a bit. All right, now text completion. Let's go with this one, right? So what's gonna happen once upon a time in a land far, far away, and then the future of artificial intelligence lies in. Let's see, you know, like how creative is this thing? Also here, text completion one, two, this even did it slightly better than mini one because it's properly separated them. So also this one, kind of passed it with no problems. Now, I wanted to do something that I did in the past where ChatGPT kind of hallucinated a few times or is, can you suggest a good book to read, uh, to, to sleep better, right? And you got here the answer. Um, I, I checked for both books. So both the sleep book and the other one, the sleep solution, they exist. It's not AI hallucinations. And the mini one does get a better result with this, right? So if you're interested in fiction to wind down before bed, it also gives me the night circus which again, this book exists. Mini wins in this one, nice. Now, translation. I use it sometimes to translate stuff, right? So from English to Italian, both of them. I mean, I'm Italian, just to give you some context. So that's why I know that this is correct. Excellent, excellent. I do not see any difference here in capabilities that I want with something a bit more like, you know, what is the meaning of life, right? Well, you got it here and you see the answers are very similar. Like it's still chat GPT, like other models would answer a bit differently, different formatting, of course, but these ones, when I compare philosophical perspective, philosophical perspectives, and you have your religious, scientific person, religious, scientific person, voila. 
Now, here we go a bit more, more hardcore, right? I want with more longer prompts, put it a bit more into the stress test. Let's see. So this is supposed to be the long-term impact of autonomous vehicles with positive negative outcomes, all those good stuff. So we have here, as you see, again, it starts similar. Economic impacts, positive outcomes, uh, growth in new industries. So here the formatting, it kind of switched a bit the, the area, like the, the order, how it um, did stuff. Whoop. All right. So, sorry for the slight interruption. I had to log in back again in, on both uh, chats here. So, right, as mentioned regarding the situation here with the um, um, economic long-term impact of autonomous vehicles, you get here the analysis really solid from both sides. I would not say that one is clearly superior to the other, which is really cool. Um, just the order of how they, the things are presented changed it. So we have a balanced argument in the end, policy recommendations. I think the, the chat GPT 4.0, the standard one, adds just a bit extra information. Now, let's proceed with the next text. A short story of exactly 500 words and uh, it should involve different things. And both stories, I, I can tell you I read them, they're like super interesting. I was pleasantly surprised by how cool these stories are. So if you want to read them, you could just pause the video and see what happened there. I really liked both of the stories. So here was the first one. Now here's the second one. Uh, there's a Roman gladiator too, so I'm a big fan of Rome. Um, right, what happened here? Interesting. Mini kind of messed up because it wrote more than 500 words. It wrote 576 words. Meanwhile, the standard one went to five, 497. So that was interesting to notice. Um, I also think it's a bit more logical, the ChatGPT 4.0 one compared to the Mini one, the, the, the flow of the story, but both stories are kind of interesting and very emotional. Right, next text, test we're going to have here. Innovative solution to address both urban food insecurity and plastic waste pollution. This is again for the environment, right? This is important stuff. Now, um, also here it was super fascinating to notice how with the same prompt, you kind of get the same answer, which I don't know exactly how this data was, on what data they trained it on, but like, you know, it's interesting to notice that you get kind of the exact same answer with these um, urban vertical farms. Now, again, here you have the output was quite solid on both sides, just the, the the structure was a bit different, how it's being presented, right? Uh, potential challenges, potential challenges also on this side. Here you have a bit less stuff with the mini version. Measuring impact, same here, cost benefit analysis, really in depth by the way. So as I said, the, men, the, the name is kind of deceiving from mini because it's not like you get very short answers, you get long detailed answers. All right, scaling the solution, implementation time. Ah, you see here on the mini, it's kind of missing the implementation time. Now, but wait, it doesn't lose here, right? So now you're seeing, ah, oh, ChatGPT 4.0 is better. Wait, wait, we're not done here yet. Now, email marketing campaign for a fresh fashion brand. And you have here, um, this one mini starts a bit more solid with subject line options. The other one doesn't have it. And it drives you, it runs you here through the whole email marketing campaign, which is quite solid to be honest. Again, I did quite a few of these and it's not bad at all, right? Also with the, the one on the right, as you can see with mini, same structure pretty much. Um, but this one also gives you tips for campaign success, the mini one that the normal one doesn't, so which is kind of interesting. You get more information, more useful information. Now let's go more to the business side, right? I want to go more into business planning for a startup. And you have here, right, connect or content connect for an idea of this uh, business platform for startups to connect freelancers with businesses. All right, so you have here solid market analysis, um, uh, competitive analysis, both sides, marketing and sales, also, because, but this one also offers you a SWOT analysis, but the other one doesn't. Really interesting. And then you get here the conclusion. For the right. Meanwhile, this one has also, like, well, both of them have financial projections, scaling strategy. I think the other one is missing it. Ooh. Mini again, kind of winning, not going to lie. And now I think the last test was an industry report on the current state of e-commerce market. 
And we're seeing here, so again, just the formatting changes a bit, but not the amount of quality information that you get, at least from this executive summary, where the market size, both of them are kind of consistent, where, you know, one mentions is was 5.7 trillion in 2023, same on the other side, just the order is a bit switched, uh, trends, key market insights, key players, also here you have uh, significant information, emerging players, challenges same as here opportunities good stuff and then you have of course again like more stuff financial projections conclusions so i think this one yeah just goes a bit longer with financial projections so again some key takeaways from this one i think chat gpt were always incredible like the, the mini version is incredibly powerful for the price that they're offering it because you can build ai tools on this and this has performance of ChatGPT 4.0. All right, let me just make this bigger so we can talk face to face. That's the thing. So, because, and also important for this testing, I kept all of this, like all these different prompts in the same window because I wanted to see, you know, the more I talk with it, does it go all over the place? Does it start losing context? No. Many of us saw it, didn't have big problems. And the output that I got was lengthy, good quality. Like it didn't hallucinate, it didn't go all over the place, it didn't give me like a completely wrong answer or anything, so it, you know, did the job for me. And that's why I'm, again, want to emphasize at the end of this testing today that Mini is a very powerful LLM that you should definitely start building stuff on for the price that they're offering. Also because ChatGPT 3.5 is getting removed, replaced, which is perfect. That was becoming the worst LLM on the market. So there you go like a practical, quick analysis of what it is capable of. What's the difference here? As you can see, there's almost no difference. Sometimes your GPT-4 wins. Sometimes the mini one wins, which is, I did not expect this at all. I was expecting shorter answers. I was expecting something a bit less efficient, but no. Like if you would not, not see the names there, would you actually notice the difference? Honestly, I would. And this goes to show you how good this thing is. All right, all right. If you want to know more, just follow me, North Star Brain, Alex North Star on social media. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Have a beautiful day. Ciao.